result of what we um, previously did is fine as it comes out of the heart. I'm going to, Angelica, I'm going to move over here. So this tear, as you may recall, was yes. down here by the heart. Yes. And then the tear was all the way through the aorta, through what's called the arch of the aorta, down through the back and down into the abdomen, into the vessels, into the legs. Yes. What we did is replace this exactly. part here. Yep. The attempt was to recombine what we call the true lumen or the normal aorta with the false lumen or the torn aorta. The problem is that as you go down through the descending aorta, yes. can you see that? That's oh, yes. fantastic. Oh, yes. There are multiple what we call re-entry sites along here, so it allows the blood to go back up even though we closed the tear it's being fed into the chest, uh, back up uh, reversibly, and that's what's happened. And so you still have a, a, a tear and then an expanding aneurysm in the chest and goes into the abdomen. Okay. In order to effectively fix this, it's a huge operation <laughs> that, would in, that would entail replacement of all the vessel up to the um, right arm and right side of the brain, left side of the brain, and left arm, as well as all of the aorta down to where the vessels go to the, um, all the abdominal organs. Okay. It's one of the bigger operations that we do in cardiac surgery and it may entail both re-entry through the front as well as uh, re then through the left side to effectively do this at the same time. Um, it's a big deal. Exactly. Um, I understand you've been experiencing chest pain. Yes. Uh, and but you've still been being followed by Dr. Ray Buck, have you not? Yes. Okay. Has he talked to you about the chest pain? No. Does he know you're having chest no. pain? No. Okay. Well, that's the reason he hadn't talked to you. Um, you made a statement to uh, uh, Jamie, my nurse practitioner, yes. that you wanted to die. Yes. Is that how you feel? Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much.